How do you know if a recoil safety product will be right for you and your operation? You've now done a comprehensive risk assessment, updated your safety management system, and implemented an effective line management plan. As we've discussed, the mooring system has inherent risk and complexity that can still lead to the unexpected occurring. Furthermore, the impacts of a line, tail, or hardware failure are significant. So how do you assure this risk are mitigated in a way that improves safety in the event of such a component failure? Let's discuss how to evaluate, specify, and select solutions that are capable of absorbing the levels of energy involved in such scenarios. Solutions to block or restrained recoil, such as barriers and thetters, are certainly options that could help address some of the risk. However, it is important that operators and designers test to verify sufficient energy absorption is provided and that it is possible to integrate them into your operation safely. At Samson, we remain focused on the role of the mooring line and tail technologies to manage the energy release and reduce operator risk. Samson has long been a development leader in the rope and mooring industry with multiple patented reduced recoil technologies, including those utilized in our Defender product line. The rope industry has an established test method that creates more consistent specifications for reduced recoil performance under Cordage Institute standard CI-1502. This standard defines testing requirements sample lens, and establishes consistent terminology related to measurement of recoil performance. Furthermore, OCIMF's MEG-4 does not provide certification for reduced recoil technologies within a rope and recommends that testing be carried out in accordance with this standard or similar such method. This test method provides a consistent calculation for defining the critical value of warning time stretch or the length of time that a recoil event will be delayed after the rupture of the first element within the rope structure. Samson's Q12 Defender has been tested in accordance with this standard and Samson believes that all rope designs that aim to reduce this risk should be tested per this method. Having created a common rope performance evaluation method, we now have to confirm that total energy in the system is also accounted for in evaluating solutions. While the energy is reduced in secondary breaks, it is still significant and a hazard that must be properly addressed. For example, additional stored energy introduced by the high elongation tails may overpower the directing or capturing strands. In the end, is a pursued solution appropriate for containment of the total amount of energy which may be released in an unexpected failure? We recommend consult with an expert, evaluate the energy that will need to be contained beyond the main line itself, choose a solution that can mitigate the total energy release for all your lines even when different lens are deployed, and confirm that the reduced recoil solution meets standards designed for this type of technology. These actions will ensure this risks are mitigated in a way that improves your operational safety.